Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Minecraft with Lone Debater 7, and today I want to show you how to build a multiplexer. So this big monstrosity here is a multiplexer, and basically what it allows you to do is it gives you your two inputs, so one and two, right? So inputs one and two. And then it also gives you a third uh, toggle here, which gets to control how the inputs are interpreted essentially so basically by changing the state of this switch you can switch it from an or gate configuration to an and gate so right now when this switch is off it's in an and gate configuration if i switch it on it goes to an or gate uh you know processing situation so when this is off both inputs have to be on when this is on, only one or both inputs have to be on to get the output to turn on. Uh, so it looks fairly complicated, uh, but I'm going to show you kind of how to construct this. It's not too bad. We did utilize some new AND gates here. So let, let's take a look and see if we can't build this on the other side. So I'm going to use the same output here just because it's easier. And we're just going to build it in reverse. So you've got your output. Um, you know, so that's just this redstone. You can connect it to whatever you want. Uh, and then you're going to build an OR gate funneling in. So for me, the way I like to build OR gates is building a NOR and then a NOT gate on top of it like that. Um, then we're going to take this out and have two inputs going into the NOR block of your OR gate. So this is the nor this is the not piece that makes it output like an or gate this is the nor piece which takes your inputs to pass through to interpret as an or okay so after that you're going to build two and gates and the simplest and smallest like footprint for an and gate is built just like this you take three solid blocks and three torches like that and all you have to do is connect redstone over the top and that is a functioning and gate the reason why this works is because an AND gate is only going to output if both inputs are on. So this torch is the output. Since it's connected and this redstone is powering the block based off of these two torches, only when both of these torches are unlit will this turn on and funnel in. So that super simple AND gate, if you're trying to save space, this is the way to do it. Um, so you build your two AND gates and then I'm just trying to remind myself what comes next. Uh, basically, we're going to connect the left input down, and then we're going to connect the two right inputs, it looks like. Okay. So, oh, right. So this is where the uh, toggle switch comes into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect up the two right uh, switches, and pretty easy to do. We just don't want these to connect, right? So... There we go. Two rights are connected. Bring out the lefts because those are going to be your actual inputs. And then that, I believe we just have to pass over the top into our toggle. Cool, that looks right. Um, why do I... Oh. Oh, oh. That would have been a bad mistake. Um, so we're pulling from this one. This guy needs to be a torch. Right there. Okay. So we've got our torch placed in the correct spot and that basically just sends an input to your to one of the AND gates and that's actually what allows you to use an OR gate. So basically when it's turned off it's going to pass through this AND gate in order to output. When it's turned on um, it'll be able to pass through the OR gate. Okay anyway um, so from here let's see connected is that right? It looks right. So I need to break off another chain, and it appears. Uh, um, so we'll just bring it down like this and build it. Same spot. Doesn't really matter. You just, I, I like to keep my inputs close to each other. That way I can see what's happening. Um, throw down a repeater because this is going to be a big circuit. Um, whatever. And I'm actually going to bring this out a little bit farther just so it's not getting in the way of the rest but okay so there's that then just bring these inputs down a little bit 
And I believe the next step is we pass one through an AND gate, one through an OR gate. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So on one side you want an OR gate, the other side you want an AND gate. So that's pretty easy to set up. Um, so we're going to build the OR gate on this side. Like so. Cool. And then that'll have two inputs. Okay, and then we're going to build the AND gate on this side. Um, is this going down? Oh, whoops, that is the wrong one. Lol. Okay. Um, I mean, I kind of want the center block here, but that's not going to work. Okay, whatever. Just gonna fit it in. It doesn't necessarily matter where these are placed. Obviously, you know, the less space it takes for you to connect these, the better, but not necessarily critical. I mean, you can make this a massive fucking thing if you want. Um, okay, so we've got our OR and our AND gate built on the back end, and then effectively, what we are going to do is we are going to connect the inputs together. So we need to connect the left input of the OR gate to the left input of this AND gate, and the right input of the AND gate to the right input of the OR gate. So pretty easy. We're just going to come back over here and connect these bad babies. So we are going to build a little bridge to connect the lefts. And then this actually becomes one of your inputs. Um, I'm just going to run it over this way. I think, I think that'll work. We'll maybe throw another repeater right here. Okay. And we'll bring this guy over here. So we have them all in one spot. That's that's the only reason why. Like, it doesn't matter. You don't actually have to move your inputs like this. I just like to have the levers close by so I can reach all of them without having to run around uh, like a maniac. So this is your toggle. This is the left input for both this hand and this or. And then we need to connect the right hand input. So that one's a little bit simpler for us. Just kind of path it like this. And we're going to bring this guy right here and throw in our input. And that is a multiplexer built. So we just built a second multiplexer. It, they both go into the same input. Um, but basically, the way this works, you got your two inputs, inputs one and two. They're both in state zero. And then you've got your toggle, which is also in state zero. So right now, this should be functioning as an AND gate. So we've got one input turned on, no output. We got the other input turned on, no output. But if we turn both inputs on, we get the output. Now, if we change that with the toggle, now it should function as an OR gate. So one input turned on, we get an output. The other input turned on, we also get an output. And when they're both on, you still get the output. So that is my coverage on how to build a simple multiplexer. As far as when you'd want to use this, um, it, it kind of just depends on what you're trying to do. Like some scenarios, this is going to be more effective than trying to build duplicate um, or an AND gates. Like if we were to just like, let, let's just go with a hypothetical. Let's say you want to be able to have both the functionality of an AND gate and an OR gate without having four inputs. Well, you would use a multiplexer to accomplish that because it decreases your inputs by one because you only need three. And so the first two inputs are your actual, you know, inputs that you're tracking. Um, and then the third input is going to control the state or the logic processing of the circuit. So basically, you can set it to where um, sometimes it's an OR gate, sometimes it's an AND gate, and dependent upon which state it is on, um, it will determine whether or not your inputs are going to are going to trigger an output. Um, so you, I, I don't know exactly how you'd apply that, but that's effectively what a multiplexer does. Um, so this is a little bit more advanced redstone building in Minecraft, but you can build multiplexers in Minecraft relatively easily. I mean, this is a big footprint. We probably could have shrunk this up substantially if we moved this AND gate forward, moved this OR gate forward, kind of just left this toggle over here and moved up the inputs, but that's okay. I don't really care. It's a super flat creative world, so whatever. I just wanted to show you 
how to put together the circuit. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.